Now, the United States ranks 13th in the world in infrastructure, talking about roads and bridges. As WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager tells us tonight, state and local leaders are getting more money to help improve that ranking. CSX trains like this one carry goods under it from the Port of Baltimore. And the Peninsula Expressway carries 18 wheelers and as many as 12,000 workers per day to Trade Point Atlantic in Sparrows Point. What they share in common is this dilapidated bridge. It comes down to this bridge, making sure it's safe. Members of Maryland's congressional delegation are celebrating the payoff from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act passed last year, which is now starting to deliver. We've already gotten the down payment in regards to the bridges. $82 million was made available to from the federal government to the state. They're using it for 231 bridges in our state are going to be fixed as a result of, of those funds. That federal infrastructure bill is sending more than $7 billion to Maryland, and more than 400 million of it will go to repair and replace aging bridges just like this one. Baltimore County is responsible for the bridge, and now with at least 80% of the bridge's replacement costs being picked up by the feds, it's ready to move forward. A 2016 traffic study indicated that volumes at the nearby intersection of Peninsula Expressway and Bethlehem Boulevard are projected to quadruple by 2037. It will take the county four years to tear down the existing bridge and to design and build the new one, which should be able to carry the greater load as Sparrows Point and the Port of Baltimore build on their success. In Dundalk, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.